Hello, I'm just doing this new video on how to install Radeon Profile in the new Linux Mint 20.2 Mate. I installed the new Linux yesterday because I was trying to get the new version of Obsidian working and I found out my CMake was out of date and I figured that was just due to my Linux being out of date but the new Linux also uses that same version so that's going to be an entirely different video. Anyway, I wrote out this entire thing here to do to get Radeon Profile working correctly. It's not going to be 100% the same as the last video I made on this. I'm just going to open a terminal window right next to this. Okay, I'm just going to make a source folder here. I'm going to go in it. I'm going to run this git clone command. If you don't have git on a new system, you want to type in this command here. But I already did that a minute ago, so I'm good. Now you want to install the dependencies before you do anything else. This is going pretty fast, I like that. Okay, next you want to type in QMake. Okay, what am I forgetting here? Okay, I just went and looked it up and updated the dependency command, so you're really going to want to enter this command here couldn't get the font issue figured out there, but I really don't care. It's a stupid font issue. I wanted all the dependencies in one command. So this should be over fairly quickly. Okay, we now have QT5 as a base to work with. Enter the command QMake. QMake is done. Building for release. That was fast. Now just enter Make. Now this is going to take a few minutes. I think I'm just going to pause this while this is compiling. I'm only estimating, but that took about five minutes to compile. Now the very next thing you want to do, sudo make install. Okay, now here's the thing about this program. I said sudo make install, so it just put me a copy of Radeon Profile right in the system tools. You click on this and it loads you get nothing because in order for this program to function at this point you actually have to do this you have to run it with elevated privileges and keep a terminal window open the entire time it's running but I'm not going to set you up like that because it's lame but you see why my machine needs this so bad my fan's not even spinning right now. It's just running hot. Anyway, so... You need to type in cd dot dot twice and go up to the source folder. What you actually need to do is install the Radeon Profile daemon 
and copy one file into your system D service folder to install this as a service so it runs properly then you can run this program with regular permissions and you don't have to deal with any of that stuff okay same procedure here qmake make and sudo make install I'm gonna go ahead and pause it again here oh don't need to okay sudo make install and then this one last line here Great, now it's copied into your service folder. So it should be running as a service right now. But I'm not sure if I need to reboot for that to become functional. I just may need to. I'm going to go to my startup applications folder and I'm going to add this right now. That should be all you need is the command. I don't even usually enter all this extra stuff. I set my delay to 30 seconds, but depending on your startup speed and the speed of your PC, you may want to speed, uh, speed this up or slow it down. If your PC is a little bit slower to start up, you may want to use 60. While I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck System Reports and Update Manager so my startup's a little faster. Now close this out and you should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and I'll see you when I reboot. Well, I just rebooted and nothing is working and I know exactly why. I forgot these two last steps and all I had to do is go to the GitHub page to get these. You need to enter these exactly as shown in the terminal. Okay, that's strange that it didn't work. I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back, I guess. Okay, I'm back. I got that one figured out. I didn't copy the entire command. Okay, now I'm just going to test this really quick. See if anything happens. Nice. That's what I want to see. Not a blank screen. So I'm going to try to reboot and I'll see you in a second then. I almost forgot before you reboot. This is important. You want to go to fan control, go to fixed and set your idle speed. After you do that, go to configuration. Check these three boxes. Start minimize, minimize to tray, on close, hide to tray. And save selected fan control mode. Okay, four boxes. Save all. Close program, and this should be automatic when I reboot. I'm happy to report that it worked. My system rebooted after about 30 seconds. Ready on profile came up with 20% fan speed. You see it's 47.8 right now. That's because I raised it up to 50%. Anytime I'm working with OBS Studio, it raises the temperature of my graphics card. Anyway, I just want to say thank you very much to the person who made this program.
Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I think that's all I have, and I'll see you in the next video.